My dad was crushed by an industrial wool press at his place of work. It happened in the very early morning, just hours after a state of origin. When my mum called me, it was about four in the morning. The moment I answered the phone and she started talking, I knew she was going to tell me something terrible, and that was that my dad had been killed at work. After that, it's all a blur. It's one of the hardest days of my life. It was devastating, absolutely devastating. And I have every confidence my father should not have died that morning. I think there was some neglect in terms of these machines. They weren't looked after and they weren't maintained properly. Those were dad's words to us. His attitude though would have been that she'll be right. We just got to get this job done, then we'll think about it. People who go to work, particularly those in dangerous workplaces, we have a responsibility to our families to go home each day. If there's any risk at all that your work can potentially kill you and your family won't have you, is it worth it? The answer will always be categorically no. When you lose someone like that, and it does happen, you replay all the memories that you have. And you have this realization that you're never gonna see them again. And it's only those memories, they're the only things we have now. We treasure those because we'll never have them again. I had a very close relationship with my dad. He instilled the passion that he had for life on the land into me at a very early age. And one of my favorite memories of dad will always be when him and I would get up early in the morning, we'd have a cup of coffee, and then we'd set off on a big walk around, have a look at things, talk about things, talk about animals, talk about everything. They're the times that you really get to know someone. And that's where I felt the closest to my dad. The day I lost him, all that went with it. I think with the combination of the machines being better maintained and my dad particularly having a different attitude, he'd still be getting up early each morning and you wouldn't be watching this video now. Me sharing the story is me hoping that I can change the attitude of at least one person and I'll never know this, but perhaps prevent what happened to my dad and our family from happening to another family. And if that's the case, it will have been worthwhile. But dad being the way he was, the way that he grew up with no safety culture and being a very pragmatic bloke, he'd have been the bloke to say, well, hang on, I'm not gonna be working on this machine until it's fixed. It's dangerous and it needs to be fixed. I look at my kids and I think, gee, it would have been nice for dad to have known you. The days get worse before they get better. You replay moments about the horror of it and you hope, and you hope that it didn't hurt him. You hope that it was quick. And all the while you're trying to balance a life. And it is an incredibly difficult thing to do. Time is the only thing that gets you past it. For me, enough time has now gone past that I can talk about it, think about it. But certainly in those early days, in those early weeks and months, it was horrendous. People get killed and accidents happen at work generally because they become complacent. They think it won't happen to them. And that's when it does happen. For me, it's important that this message makes a difference because in my own mind, it would mean that my dad didn't die for nothing.